Hey, my brave is it? It's Halloween. Perfect time to play some spooky games. Thanks to our friends at Bandai Namco Entertainment, we got our hands on an early demo of Little Nightmares 2 by Tarsier Games. This is one from Game Braves, now let's dive into this. Little Nightmares 2 is an adventure game, and you're exploring all these areas as a little boy in a paper mask named Mono. You may notice he's not the main character from the first game, although Six does make an appearance here as a guide. Little Nightmares 2 actually takes place after the events of the original Little Nightmares. And as for story, it looks like this demo takes place after the point in the game where Mono meets Six. The demo takes place in a hospital, and it looks like this game won't be revisiting the locations from the first one. Admittedly, the whole spooky hospital is a bit of a cliche, but I tell you what, it kinda works. The demo we were given is about half an hour of gameplay, and there wasn't really any story to it, so don't worry about spoilers. Instead, enjoy this eerie, atmospheric, vertical slice of the game. So, the main takeaway I'm getting from this is that the sound direction is amazing. Take a listen to this. Everything about this, from the plucking of the strings to the atmospheric sounds, is absolutely stress-inducing. It's like a thrill ride. And it does this all with a mostly static camera. Being chased by a disembodied hand is kind of terrifying. I don't know if you know that. Yet, they haven't felt the need to go overboard by constantly shaking the camera. And that's really the appeal of Little Nightmares 2 in Microcosm. Even though it uses things like jump scares, it doesn't go overboard with them. From what we've seen in the demo, the game doesn't want to shock you, it wants to unsettle you. Even when you're not being chased, both the visuals and the audio give off this vibe that reminds you that something is very much still out there. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean you're not in danger after all. It's a neat little trick they play on you too, since even the game's idle moments suddenly feel like you're against the clock, even though you're really not. Even when you're moving stuff around, you're tempted to do it with this urgency because you're never quite recovered from the last thing the game threw at you, and it constantly feels like you're still being chased. I don't know what to tell you, the game's scary, man. I tend to not like horror games because ultimately it's about stressing you out for as long as possible. But rather than have yet another skull face screaming at me, Little Nightmares manages to maintain this nice sense of both tension and dread. The lack of any explained backstory is also really great because I literally have no time to call out the game on pretentious plot devices before I hit a puzzle that needs solving. Mono has some pretty basic controls and it's not like he's particularly complex. You're mostly just interacting with objects in the world, trying to get through progression puzzles. The anti-video gaminess of this game also plays into the experience. What I'm saying is that, the game doesn't really like signposting in all the traditional ways, so instead you're gonna be getting killed a lot as you try to figure out how all the different objects interact in this world. The coolest instance of this is still the flashlight, which you're going to have to shine on the mannequins to stop them from moving. It gives off a very Doctor Who vibe, if you know what I'm talking about. I can kind of see how they do this to keep the uncomfortable atmosphere going, but I can also see how this could be frustrating if you just want to know how to solve a puzzle. As it is, prepare to die a lot. So from what we've played, Little Nightmares 2 sounds like the perfect dream for a specific type of player. Mainly people who like atmosphere and puzzle games. While it can be frustrating, those of you who are more interested in the atmosphere of a horror game will definitely enjoy dying again and again and again. Little Nightmares 2 fiendishly crawls its way onto PC, Nintendo Switch, PS4, Xbox One, as well as their next-gen counterparts on February 11, 2021. Just uh, leave the lights on before you go to bed, will you? This has been Juan from Gamer Braves, very cautiously signing off.